Welcome back to Core Finance. I am joined by Alessio Rustani for our second interview today. Uh, we are looking at the great British pound, not so great <laughs> of late. Uh, so we'll call it the British pound for right. today. Um, and this is the uh, versus the dollar, so cable, as exactly. some traders will know it. Um, just talk us through what we're seeing here. Okay, so about a couple of weeks ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, I, I, I was in the show with Nick, and we were talking about the British pound. He told me something interesting back then, Matt. He told me that a lot of the uh, people who were coming on this show were extremely bullish. They were making calls in the pound going to 135 to 140. That was a huge warning signal in my ears. It was a <laughs> red flag. Yes. And we can see since then the pound has dropped from 130 down to 128. So that we, we were right to be bearish on the pound. The question is, so what now? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Um, I, I view this entire move, this rally we, we've had from January as a corrective move, as an ABC wave 4 correction mm -hmm. for people who follow Elliott waves. And what that really means is if the whole rally we've seen from January till August, that's been a way for, if that's been a correction, a way forward move, mm -hmm. then what that means is we should be on the lookout for a potential probable way five move lower. That's pretty bad for the British pound yes. because a way five move would, make, would mean that we're, uh, as we can see on that chart, guys, if indeed that's correct, if we're heading for a way five move lower, and if this wave count we've seen here is correct, that means we're that blue path that I've drawn there is potentially, could, could be the one we should be looking at. Mm -hmm. in, other word, in other words, a new one, two, three, four, five, five wave move down to retest the January lows near 120. That's a pretty, yeah. I have to say, uh, I'm, I wish I could be so brave as to make that kind of call. We'll have to wait and see. And I would, say, and I, I would just say this, Matt. If we take out the lows of August, 12770, if we take out those lows, then yes, I'd be more confident we're mm -hmm. heading down for, a, for that wave five move lower to retest the previous lows. But the, the green as well is this yeah. potential to sell on strength. Okay, so the green path that I've shown on that chart is the probability that maybe we're going to go and retest some mm -hmm. previous support. So maybe we're going to retrace back to the 61.8% and maybe even retest the August highs before we make that... Uh, roll over, mm -hmm. sorry, before, before we roll over to uh, form a wave five. So out of those two, um, I'm probably leaning towards the blue path, but again, I, there's a probability that we might just go and retest those previous levels yeah. and then roll over. So, so folks, folks who are looking to short the pound should wait for a, re, for a retracement to those levels, mm -hmm. but also keep your eye out. If, if that blue path is correct, if we take out the lows of August at 12770, then yes, I'd be getting more bearish on the pound because that would mean that we're below the 21 weekly average mm -hmm. and very likely that that wave three move, that wave three, wave five move lower is starting. Yeah. Understood. So that's what so, I got on the pound. Yeah, I've got two, two entry levels there. Exactly. Well, so. Yeah, that's what I got on the pound. And by the way, I should just mention because uh, the dollar also looks quite bullish, mm -hmm. the chart of the dollar looks quite bullish. That also makes me uh, a bit more bearish on the pound because strength in the dollar will put downward pressure on the pound as well. Understood. On that note, thank you very much sure. for joining us.